Welcome to Eternal Mana, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at this amazing psalm, Psalm 45, and uh, a wedding, a royal wedding. And uh, the psalmist is describing to us the king, King Jesus, the king of glory. And thus far, we have looked at the character of this warrior king. We have looked at his clothing. We have uh, looked at the conflict and the cause of the conflict. Uh, we have looked at the conquest of this king. And he uh, conquers by convicting us and converting us. All beautiful sea words that apply to this king. Now, today we are going to look at verse 6. Your throne, O God, will last forever and ever. A scepter of justice will be the scepter of your kingdom. Today we look at the court of the king, the court of the king, the government of the king, the administration of the king. And uh, what's very amazing, verse 6, it is quoted in Hebrews chapter 1, verses 8 and 9. And in uh, Hebrews, we know the writer seeks to make the Lord Jesus Christ supreme. <laughs> we have the supremacy of the Lord Jesus Christ in the book of Hebrews. And the Lord Jesus Christ is supreme over Moses. The Lord Jesus Christ is supreme over angels. And in chapter 1, verses 8 and 9, we have God the Father talking to God the Son. And uh, the verse is taken from Psalm 45 and verse 6. Your throne, God the Father speaking to God the Son, your throne, O God, will last forever and ever. Meaning, again, we have the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ clearly spelt out in this psalm. Make no mistake about it. The Lord Jesus Christ is God. God the Father himself very plainly says that his son, his beloved son, the darling of heaven, is God himself. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And uh, it talks specifically about the throne of God. And we know in the book of Revelation, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to sit on his throne. And he is going to rule the nations. He is going to rule the universe. When he came the first time, he was rejected. He was despised. But the Lord Jesus now is in heaven seated at the Father's right hand, and he sits on the throne of government. The government shall be upon his shoulders, we read in Isaiah chapter 9. And this throne is a permanent throne. This throne will never get toppled, like what happens to human thrones. Remember the peacock throne of the Shah of Iran? how that whole throne was dismantled by a revolution. Uh, human thrones don't last. But God's throne is forever and forever a scepter of uh, justice will be the scepter of your kingdom. A scepter speaks of rule, authority, power. And the scepter of the Lord Jesus Christ is justice. How do we know that the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ is radically different to that of any other kingdom or earthly ruler? His kingdom is a kingdom of love, peace, joy, justice, righteousness. And when King Jesus sits on the throne of the universe, there will be wonderful justice on the earth as we have never seen before. There will be no inequality. There will be perfect righteousness and perfect peace. And how we long for that day. And that is why we pray, even so, come King Jesus. Come and rule this world. But 
before he begins to rule this earth, he has to rule your life and my life. He has to enter our life by our permission and establish his right to rule over our life, over our time, our thoughts, our money, our resources, our relationships, our leisure. Will you allow him to rule your life? In Isaiah chapter 11, verses 4 and 5, we read, With righteousness he will judge the poor. Righteousness will be the belt about his loins. What a remarkable king. What a remarkable God. Let's bow down before him and worship Christ the Lord. Have a blessed weekend, and God willing, we'll continue Psalm 45 uh, the following week. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.